Assalamualaikum Hi guys In this video we are going to continue the next trend in predict table Where we are going to compare between atoms and its corresponding ion So as usual we've learned ion can be cation, positive ion or anion, negative ion So first thing first I'm going to explain how you want to describe the radius between cation with its corresponding atom so we know that when we want to form cation we will make an atom loses the electrons so when the electrons are removed from the balance shell this is where the effective nuclear charge for the cation that is formed is higher than its neutral atom this allows the remaining electrons to have greater nucleus attraction. Hence, the size for cation is smaller than its neutral atom. For example, I have Mg2 plus and Mg. So this is the SPDF notation. We can see that the highest n value for Mg neutral atom is n equals to 3. While for Mg2 plus, we have the highest n value which is n equals to 2. So you can see the value for Zeph is different for both of them. For example, for magnesium, the Zeph will be positive 2. However, for Mg2+, the Zeph value will be positive 10. So you can see this magnesium ion has higher Z value compared to its neutral atom. That is why when Z increases, the attraction between valence electrons and nucleus also increases, makes the size becomes smaller. As a summary, when we want to compare cation with its neutral atom, we will use factor effective nuclear charge. Kita memang akan gunakan cation dengan dia punya neutral atom. Next, we have the second trend which is how to compare the size for anion and its corresponding atom. So anion is where that atom receives the electrons. So when more electrons are added to the same shell, the electron-electron repulsion ataupun perkataan lain yang sama maksud kita akan guna ialah mutual repulsion will be increased. So this is where electrons are going to push apart between each other makes it have weaker nucleus attraction. So bila a nucleus attraction dengan valence electrons dah jadi weaker, the size for anion becomes larger compared to corresponding neutral atom. For example, we have O2- and O atom. Kita akan compare elemen yang sama antara satu sama lain. Bezanya adalah elemen itu sebagai neutral atom dan satu lagi elemen tersebut sebagai ion. So you can see this is SPDF notation for oxygen neutral atom dan juga O2 minus oxygen ion. So bilangan elektron dah bertambah. Elektron charge dia negatif. So bila bilangan negatif charge makin bertambah dalam valence shell, elektron tersebut akan saling menolak antara satu sama lain. That is why you will use the term mutual repulsion untuk comparison between anion and its corresponding atom. So ingat untuk trend antara comparison anion and its neutral atom kita akan gunakan term mutual repulsion ataupun nama lain dia adalah electron electron repulsion. So ini contoh macam mana awak boleh lihat perbezaan anion has larger size compared to its corresponding atom. So I'm going to do one example with you. You can see how to compare the radius of potassium atom with its respective ion. First thing first, no matter what, we are going to write the electronic configuration first. Untuk kes ini, kita memang sudah tahu potassium adalah elemen daripada group 1. So, bila group 1, dia adalah metal. So, it's more favor to lose the electrons. So, this is where you need to understand when losing electron, dia akan jadi cation. 
So, faktor apa yang kita akan guna iaitu ZEF. So, ini adalah antara kation with its neutral atom. So, write the electronic configuration for potassium atom and potassium ion. So, you can see the decrease of one electron from the valence shell. So, dekat sini, awak boleh calculate the ZEF value for potassium atom, the highest end value is N equals to 4. For potassium ion, the highest end value N equals to 3. So, bila awak calculate ZEF value, awak akan boleh lihat bilangan ZEF untuk potassium atom adalah positif 1. Manakala untuk potassium ion adalah positif 9. So, the ZEF value also increases for potassium ion. So, first thing first, kita akan gunakan layout yang sama cuma lebih spesifik. Sebut potassium atom will lose one valence electron to form K plus ion. So, K plus ion has less electrons dan kita terus masuk kepada dia punya faktor iaitu K plus ion experiences greater effective nuclear charge than K atom. It makes the valence electrons are drawn closer to the nucleus and K plus has smaller radius compared to its neutral atom. So, inilah cara macam mana kita nak write the explanation when you comparing neutral atom with its corresponding ion. As a conclusion, kita sudah belajar beberapa trend when across the period, you have more proton number so the factor will be effective nuclear charge. So, it will gain more attraction between nucleus and valence electrons contributes to smaller size. Kalau down the group, you will have increases of number of shell which contributes to shielding effect also increases. Next, it becomes less attraction between nucleus and valence electrons that makes the size becomes larger. Seterusnya, kita ada juga kation with its atom. Kat sini, kation adalah species di mana atom loses the electron. So, faktor yang kita akan gunakan adalah ZEF. Seterusnya, untuk anion. Anion, dia menggunakan faktor mutual repulsion. So, pastikan awak faham macam mana layout yang kita perlu guna dan how you want to apply in your question. Jangan lupa... Lihat betul-betul apakah elemen yang diberikan dalam soalan. So, itu sahaja untuk video kali ini. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!